Hi, I'm Phil. This is a series on how to change your Lyra third-person character into first-person back. Uh, I've got a lot to do, so I've broken it up into a bunch of videos. Small disclaimer, I'm not an expert, uh, but I've spent a lot of time in the Unreal Engine, so I get things working as best I can, and uh, hopefully you all kind of learn something along the way. All right, let's, let's get started. First thing you want to do is load up a map you like. I like this firing range. It's in the uh, shooter maps. And just for my sanity, I go over to the uh, shooter core bot bot spawner. Just want to change this as soon as it loads. <laughs> change this to zero so we don't listen to a bunch of bots. Actually, and also save on compile only success. That just saves time. Close you out. All right. Now, if you've already got some arms that you want to use, then you can skip this next step. If you don't, then you need Blender to do this. Uh, we're going to go up to co uh, Characters, Cosmetics, no, Heroes, Mannequin, Meshes. Go over to this SK Mannequin. Nope. SKM Manny. Asset Actions, Export. Okay, find where you want to put it. Let's see here. Five tutorials, uh, a foot Lyra tutorials. All right, I'm just going to make a folder. You don't have to do it like this, but this is the way I do it. Exports. Save it in there. Now, all this is fine. Just make sure that export preview mesh is clicked. Export. All right. That's how I like to do it. Boom. That's so I can, there we go. All right, Blender. Let's import FBX. Go and find your folder. Exports. Let's see your armature. No. Yeah, importing should all be okay. Just make it look like this. Port. My computer is kind of slow, so it takes a second. All right. Now, uh, if y'all want the LODs, then cool. You can figure out how to make it work. But uh, I don't need them, so I'm going to get rid of them. All right. And uh, for this to work, uh, the only way I've gotten it to work is to click on this root right here, the first root, right click, or excuse me, come over here, space. If you have a different version of Blender, then uh, I hope you can find how to make this work. It's clear and keep transformation. All right, then uh, we can just get rid of this stuff. Hopefully it's not important because I'm not using it. All right, click on the mesh, just click this little guy right here, tab, A twice, select some of these, uh, control L, delete, vertices, grab these guys, control L just in case, delete, vertices, and Control L, delete. And I think that's a tongue. So let's get rid of that too. Control L, delete. All right, so we've got just the arms. Uh, click on the skeleton and then the mesh. File, export, FBX. Okay, find that folder. Make another one if you want. Imports. All right now, click selected objects. Go to geometry. Um, I don't think it matters which one. I'm going to go with face. I'm going to go with edge. <laughs> Smoothing edge. Armature. Unclick this. Add leaf bones. We don't need that. And uh, everything else should be right. So just make it look like this. 
could do SKM first person. Well, Manny first person. Cool. Export computer now. All right, in the same folder, we're going to import. Alt, imports. All right, so it's already going to the right place. So you want to put uh, skull mesh, import mesh, SK mannequin. And then down here on the materials, do not create material. Do not import textures. Hopefully, we won't get any errors. Look at that. Okay. Save all. Go take a look at it real quick. Okay. Bones, all hierarchy. Look at there. Okay. So that's the skeleton that it comes with. That's got the arms on it. Why are you not? Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, this isn't Blender. <laughs> Sometimes there's a shock going back and forth. Okay. Yeah, we got the arms. Good to go. Save. Awesome. All right, next we want to go over to cosmetics. And we're going to take this B Manny, duplicate it, and name it Cosmetic Base. All right, open it up. Save. All right. Now, these two, we're going to make child classes of this one. Uh, I'll explain later why we do that. Open it up. File, reparent, blueprint, cosmetic base. Delete this one. Delete. All right, make sure that you've got. SK Mannequin in here, SK Manny. Compile. Okay. Come over here. We want to file reparent blueprint. Cosmetic base. Delete the mesh component zero. Here. Quinn. SKM Quinn. Well, all right. Those should be good to go. Now let's go over to this pick random character. I want to change as little as possible, so we're going to keep using this random character. We're going to change it just a little bit. Pull out this random bool. Promote to variable. Set it here. All right, now we're going to grab these two, control D, do the same thing. Name this and pool or whatever you want. Pull it down here. I like to put mine underneath. There we go. Now, let's navigate to these guys again. We're going to make a child blueprint of this cosmetic base. We're going to name it the Manny first person. Open it up. For this mesh component, we're going to add SKM Manny FP. We'll leave this here for now. Actually, no. For the Use Animation Blueprint, we're going to change that to Asset. We're going to go with Pistol uh, MF Pistol Idle ADS, just so that we have something. It's still showing that, but we'll fix it later. All right. Oh, one more thing. Let's go back into that. 
need to click here. Oh no, click on the add tag. I'm gonna come into cosmetic. Click this little add sub tag button. Perspective dot or sub tag first person. All right, now this blueprint is a cosmetic blueprint and it's going to have all the first person meshes are going to have uh, the first person tag so that we can uh, differentiate them later. All right. Let's go into hero. Where is hero? It's in heroes. <laughs> heroes. Yeah. There we go. Hero default. All right. Capsule component. Add skeletal mesh. We're going to go FP underscore mesh. This is just going to be a placeholder so that we know where to add the cosmetic to. All right. All right go back over to the, con or go down to the construction script. We're going to take the FP mesh, the camera, Attach component to component. Take that there. Put this in the parent. Snap to target for location and rotation. All right, after that, we'll grab this again. Set location. Set relative location. There we go. This is, uh, so since we're using third person animations on a first person mesh, um, we're not gonna keep this at zero. Uh, once we have animations specifically made for a first person mesh, then you don't have to worry about this part, but that's gonna come much later. So right now this needs to be around negative 160. I haven't done it with the pistol yet, just the rifle. All right and add relative rotation. It's negative 90 in the Z. Okay, that should be in the right spot. Let's take a look. Yeah, down there. Let's go ahead and add a skeletal mesh just for reference. Uh, let's put the arms, okay. And again, we'll put the animation to animation asset. Just put in the pistol animation we had. Again, this is just for reference. We're not using this. So MF pistol idle, EDS. All right, so that's generally the right spot. Uh, we'll worry about right placement and all that later. This is just to get an idea. Compile. Okay. I think that's all we need for this. Exit out. Go down to Shooter Core Game. It's Hero Shooter Mannequin. Open that up. Okay. Now we're going to be adding um, something right here. Let's create a function. Update Cosmetics. All right. Now we need to grab our pawn cosmetic component, get character parts. Now all of those things that we spawned in the random character uh, spawner, those are gonna be the character parts that are attached to your pod cosmetics component. Uh, we're gonna loop through those for each loop. And we're going to cast, because what comes out is just an act reference. Cast to uh, cosmetics base. Yeah, there we go. That's why we created the cosmetic base, because otherwise we, yeah, that's why we created it. We'll go here. Now, let's check 
if we have gameplay tag has matching gameplay tag check this um, cosmetic perspective first person all right pull out a branch let's afterwards we need to set owner owner Remember exactly why I did that, but I'm pretty sure it was necessary. I might go back and check that later. We'll see. Cosmetic base. All right. New owner is uh, self. All right. So we can pull out the mesh component. Get mesh. mesh. Oh, that's why. Pull this up. Now, I'm not great with cable management, so you can make it look however you want to. Um, mine's not always pretty, but it still works. So we'll do that there. Pull this over here. Get mesh component. There we go. All right, actually. Yeah. Get mesh component. We need to set owner no C. No, excuse me. Set only owner C. Just in case it isn't already set to that. Yes. Then set visibility. Oh, it's not even. Uh, I'm not OCD, but you know, whatever. Uh, let's pull new visibility out to uh, local vari. No, to a regular variable, a global. is first person. All right. Let's attach component to component. The parent needs to be this FP mesh. Snap to target. Snap to target. Okay. Then we need to uh, take this mesh component again. Set leader pose component. Yes. There we go. Uh, bring this FP mesh out again. That's going to be the new, basically, all the animations that run on this FP mesh will run on that uh, cosmetic meshes, uh, cosmetics mesh component. Uh, force update. I don't know if we need that, but I'm doing it. All right, we'll see if that works. Um, what else do we need? We need to add. Yeah, bring this out and do a promote to variable. Uh, and then delete it. <laughs> OK. We're going to come down here to the new, new variable. We're going to label it FP Cosmetics. We're going to change it to an array. Pull it out. Add unique. I'm going to add this guy in there. All right, I think that's all we need for this. Uh, okay. 
Okay. For my sanity, first person. Okay. All right. Now, if it doesn't have this first person tag, let's come down here also. You know, I could have just done set owner first. Whatever. Set owner. Owner is self. Cool. All we need to do for this one is bring you up set owner no C oh good All right now for this we're gonna use this again so if it's in first person we want to set no C for the owner so for us uh, that way you can still see, excuse me, the people you're playing with can still see your mesh, but you can't. Just in case you want to take this multiplayer. And then let's take this uh, FP Cosmetics, duplicate it, and label it Third Person Cosmetics. We're going to use this later to change visibility much easier because um, you may want to use several third-person cosmetics at the same time um, and say you have a first-person mesh with a whole bunch of components that you want to change out that are different cosmetics that's why we're doing this all right oh, no. add unique all right Just cleaning up some stuff. Can't clean my house, but I can clean up my wires. Oh, there we go. Can't comment from selection. That's terrible. Uh, third person cosmetics. Boom. You know what? That's not important. Sort of. Okay. So we've got, let me explain this real quick. We get all the parts. We loop through them to see which ones respond. Uh, the ones with the tag, first person, we set them to where only we can see them. The visibility is true if we're in first person. And then we attach it to this first person mesh, which is going to be invisible. Then we set the animations basically for the cosmetic to be the same as this mesh and then we just add it to an array so we can change visibility later and then similar for the third person okay now let's go over here and instead of having this we're going to have invis and we'll leave this here for now get through this first part really quickly and go on to the next video. So uh, let's see what else we can do. Real quick, let's run back over to Cosmetics, go into the FV Manny, and open full Blueprint Editor, Mesh Component. We're going to set this to, where's Rendering? Rendering, advanced, owner no C, no, excuse me, only owner C, just in case. And then we're going to go to shadows. And um, for now, we're just going to not cast shadows. Uh, later on, it's going to be self-shadow only. And we'll, we'll deal with that then. For now, don't cast shadows. All right. Let's make sure 
I'm sure that's also important. Oh well. Uh, ah, yes. Back over to game. Hero Shooter Mannequin. We almost forgot. Event Graph. Let's update cosmetics right after on team cosmetics changed. Compile. One more thing I think we forgot to do. Go over to uh, pick random character. It's in your cosmetics folder. Let's go over here to the select. And this needs to be Manny FP. And do it for both of them since we don't have a Quinn yet. Now, theoretically, uh, we're in third person, so it should work as normal. Nothing should change if we push play. Okay, still good to go. Still good to go. Uh, and I'm single note inst Okay, yeah, doesn't matter. All right, so if we click on first person, what should happen is the third person mesh should go away. The weapon will still be there. And then the first person cosmetic should be attached to the camera, and the camera will still be in the same location. All right, let's make sure it works. Ah, all right, cool, cool. Just got a basic animation asset. Uh, all right, so I'm going to stop here. We'll go to the next video here in a minute. Um, I hope you learned something. If you haven't learned yet anything yet, then uh, stay tuned because we've got more to come. Thank you so much. Hey, I want to thank Nance Dev Diaries for inspiring me to make some more videos. Uh, she's got great content, great tutorials, and unlike myself, she sounds like she knows what she's doing. So uh, if you haven't yet, go check her out. Thanks.